Well, good morning, dear friends. So good that we could be together for another Devotions from the Grove. I'm Pastor Josh, pastor here at Hedricks Grove Reformed United Church of Christ, and I am so glad that we could spend uh, just a little bit of time together this morning. Um, I want to talk uh, this morning with you uh, about uh, family. Um, you know, uh, Elisa and I were talking the other day, you know, just about what family is and what it means. And, and you often hear me talk about it uh, here in this uh, context, whether it's in preaching or uh, in prayer time or things like that. Um, you know, I often talk about what family is. And we have a lot of different family we have the family that God gave us, right? Um, and I think of that because, you know, yesterday I went and I picked up uh, my oldest daughter uh, from the airport. She's here visiting uh, for a while and I got the, you know, so uh, we have our parents, our brothers, our sisters, our, you know, siblings, our, our immediate family, right, that we grow up with or that we have. We have our extended family as we get married or, uh, you know, cousins and all of those things. We have extended family. And then we have God's family. You know, the Bible is full of uh, places where he talks about uh, family. Um, in Genesis, we hear that a, a man will leave his mother and father and become one with his wife. We, we hear uh, where Noah took his family uh, onto the ark. And, um, and so we talk about this church family. And I think that a lot of times for a lot of us, the church family becomes the strongest family. Um, I know personally, that my church family, our church family, has really uh, seen us through so many things in this world. Um, not just at Hedricks Grove, but every church family that I've been a part of, but especially these last few months, these, you know, uh, since Elisa's diagnosis, this has been the church family. It's the light that uh, permeates through everything. Um, you know, we we are proud of family. Um, we build relationships with family. And God gives us that. God gives us people in our lives, whether we are by blood uh, or by marriage, or we are brothers and sisters in Christ. He puts people in our lives to form family. And we, you know, I, it's, as I sit here, I, I look behind me and I, I notice that I have pictures of family. We do that, don't we? We tend to put those we love uh, out in front of us so that we can see them and be proud of them. And we do that with God's family as well. You and I on Sunday mornings as we gather for worship or another service or fellowship uh, or a fundraiser, we gather with church family, family that we hold dear in our hearts. You know, I, I think of uh, the Bible verse uh, that uh, holds dear to my heart, Joshua 24, 15, as for me and my house, me and my family, we will serve the Lord. And that is, that's powerful to know that we as humans put ourselves out there with, with family. Um, you know, I know it's not the, the typical conversation that I usually have uh, when we do devotions, but family can mean so much through everything through heartache, through joy, through those moments where you can't speak, but you have them there and they hear you and they listen. As we pray together, as we laugh 
and we mourn together. Family is very important. God says that I will not let you do things alone. And, and that's where we see this. That's where we find family in the midst of everything that we have going on. Because he won't let us be alone. So if you are going through something right now, whether it's a health thing or a money thing or a family situation, whatever it is, know that God is there, but more importantly, know that your family surrounds you. Because when we don't know where to turn, we turn to each other and we in turn go to God. So in the laughter that you have, in the sadness that you have, it is Christ who is with us. It is family that surrounds us. And, and I'm reminded of that, especially when my family is close, you know, when, when we have some extra time to be with family. My mother was here for some time and Elisa's parents were here for some time and those connections are invaluable. The connections we have to our church family is invaluable. So I, I invite you this week to connect, either in prayer or in a conversation, maybe a text message. Connect with family. Let them know just how important they are to you and just how much you are there for them as well. It is, it is something that uh, has weighed on, on me to know that we have a church family that surrounds us, that we are a family of God here in this place. But we're also a family of God in the greater world as we are all brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. And so uh, those coming on, good morning to all of you. Uh, so good to uh, have you here in this space uh, with me this morning. Um, that, that's the challenge, right? The challenge to reach out and connect with family. I know I didn't fill you with Bible verse and, and go through that, but sometimes there are things we just need to be reminded of. And uh, today I thought that reminder was just how important family is. Our immediate family, our extended family, our family of God. And how we are all there for one another, no matter what. The good, the bad, the ugly. We're all there for each other. Would you take a moment and pray with me? Good and gracious God, we thank you this day. We thank you for the gift of family that you have given us. Those that we hold close to us in love as our parents, our siblings, our daughters and sons, our extended family, but also the family of faith that surrounds us every day. We thank you for those blessings that you've given and God, we just ask that you continue to hold us all in your arms so that we may all feel your presence with us in all that we do. God, especially today, I want to lift up to you those that are hurting, those that just need your healing or your guidance. We pray especially for those members in our midst, but we pray for all in the greater world that need you. May you come to them. May you ease their pain, ease their minds. Bring peace to them, God. We continue to pray for the safety of our first responders and our military as they protect us both here and around the world. We seek peace, God. 
peace that ends wars, peace that eases pain, peace that brings family together once again. And God, I just ask that you hear the hearts of your people, that in the stillness of their day, they may hear you and know that you truly are God. We raise all this to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thank you for spending some time with me this morning. It is always nice that we can be together in this uh, place. As a reminder, if you are in Lexington, North Carolina, on a Sunday morning at 1045, you are most welcome to join us in our sanctuary as we worship together. And if you can't be here in person, I invite you to be uh, with us on our live stream as we live uh, go live on YouTube on Sunday mornings. I hope you will be a part of us that way as well. Know that if you ever need anything, uh, you need somebody to talk to, you need uh, pastoral care of any kind, I invite you to reach out to me. Uh, my contact information is on our website. It's on our Facebook page. Um, feel free to reach out. Um, send me a message. Send me a text. Give me a call. Whatever you need. I am here for you. Um, know that God cares about you. Know that this family of Christ loves you, that I love you, but most importantly, that it is God who loves and cares about you. So until we see each other again, I hope you have a most blessed day. Bye for now.